In this video, we're going to look at fitting a Poisson regression model to the British doctor's data. You might recall that this data is aggregated and that we're going to be modeling the rate at which events occur, as each group has different amount of person years exposure. In a separate video, when introducing the idea of Poisson regression for rates, we talked about what an offset is and how and why an offset is used in Poisson regression when working with rate data. Now, I've already imported the British doctor's data and attached it, so let's take a look at it. Because the data set is small, we can look at all of it on one screen. Now we can see, for example, in the first group, these are age category A non-smokers. And there, there were two deaths from lung cancer, 18,790 person years exposure. We can see that each group has a different person years. So we're gonna to have to be modeling rates, not counts, right? We cannot compare the number of deaths for each group as the exposures are different. So the rate that we're going to work with is the number of deaths divided by the person years. So in this case, the person years is what we're going to call the offset in the Poisson regression model. So the offset is just the denominator in the rate. Now following here, there's a lot of code that explores this data a bit. We're not going to discuss this, but you can look at it on your own if you'd like. We're just going to jump straight to fitting a Poisson regression model using an offset in R. So you can see there's quite a lot of code that you can explore on your own if you'd like for this data. So what we're going to do is again use the GLM function to fit a generalized linear model. We're going to specify that the family is Poisson. This is indicating we'd like to fit a Poisson regression model. And we're going to estimate the number of deaths as a function of smoking and the age category. So we'd like to see what effect does smoking have on the risk of lung cancer death. And we'd like to adjust for the age category. And you can see we have this additional term included. The offset is the log person years. So this is the way we give the denominator for that rate. If you remember, the rate was the number of deaths divided by the person years exposure. And the syntax to do that is first we refer to it as an offset. We put that in parentheses. And then we need to specify that it's the log person years. Because if you recall, this model is modeling the log number of deaths we want the log number of deaths divided by the log person years to get that rate. So let's look at fitting that model. I'm going to save it in an object called model. And now let's ask for a summary of the model. See, here's the model output. Now in a separate video, we're going to take this model output and work with it a bit. This is the model's intercept, the coefficient for smoking, and the coefficients for the different age categories. You'll recall that if we exponentiate this smoking coefficient, it's going to give us the odds ratio for smoking adjusted for age category. So we can calculate that by ex exponentiating all of the coefficients of the model. You can see that here. This is the odds ratio for smoking adjusted for age category. And as we've done before, we can bind to that the exponentiated confidence interval for the model coefficients to give us the confidence interval around that. And I'm going to round it to two decimal places. So now we can see here, this is the rate ratio for smoking. I believe I might have said odds ratio instead of rate ratio. Sorry for mixing that up. Here we're looking at rate ratios. So this is the rate ratio for smoking. Someone who smokes is 43% more likely to die of lung cancer than someone who doesn't, adjusting for the age category. And here's the 95% confidence interval for that rate ratio. So that's how we can fit a Poisson regression model for rate data in R, and that's how we incorporate the idea of an offset into the model. 